This is how a thousand Filipino troops fought alongside allied forces versus 40,000 Chinese soldiers. I am genuinely, and I mean genuinely with all my heart, curious to really see about this. Something I've always been profound in and I loved every time I was in school was history. Something about just learning about our ancestors or, or things that have happened that kind of brought us up or things that they had to do or things that didn't happen, things that did happen. Everything just kind of leads to where we are now and I find a beauty in that. In honor of those who sacrificed their lives for freedom, Masid proudly presents The Battle of Yultong, a story of how Filipino troops wow. braved a sea of Chinese soldiers during the Korean War. The Korean War began on June 25, 1950, when North Korea, backed by China and the Soviet Union, crossed the border into South Korea in an attempt to capture its These capital. Cute Seoul. Animations. In response, the United Nations Security Council, through the formation of the United Nations Command, ordered the deployment of military forces to stop the invasion. On August 7, 1950, President Elpidio Quirino, with approval from Congress, sent 7,420 Filipino combat troops to fight in South Korea. President Quirino saw this as a commitment to help a friend and as part of a larger battle to save the world from communism. The 10th Battalion Combat Team of the Philippine Expeditionary Forces to Korea was the first battalion to arrive on Pusan shores on September 19, 1950. The 10th Battalion, made up of 1,303 enlisted men and 64 officers, was originally a motorized battalion sent to operate tanks from the U.S. But when none arrived, was turned into a heavy weaponry unit instead. Dude, imagine that. On the night of April 22, the 10th Battalion, as part of the U.S. 65th Infantry Regiment of the U.S. 3rd Infantry Division, was attacked north of Yeonchon by a large force of Chinese and North Korean soldiers. This would be known in history as the Great Spring Offensive, oh, one I think of I've the largest offensives by the 44th Division the of the Chinese People's Volunteer Army and the Communist North Korean Army during the Korean War. In front of the Filipinos were four Chinese divisions, numbering about 40,000 men. Just after midnight, the Chinese began their attack with a heavy artillery barrage. Soon after, the Chinese forces advanced oh but had difficulty as the 10th Battalion successfully defended their positions with mortar and artillery. Oh, However, those are strong. a massive Chinese assault pushed the Turkish Brigade from their position, allowing the Chinese to surround the Filipinos' eastern side. Oh. Seeing the incoming danger, Lieutenant Colonel Junisho Ojeda immediately organized a unit of battalion cooks and clerks to fortify and defend the east flank. With the help of M24 cooks and light clerks? tanks and artillery support, Lieutenant Colonel Ojeda's makeshift unit was able to hold off the advancing Chinese forces. The situation only got worse when the Puerto Rican 65th Infantry Regiment, situated on the west flank, began to fall back from Chinese attack. With the west flank now exposed, the Chinese began advancing but were blocked by a platoon of Filipino soldiers situated on a hill overlooking Yultong. Commanded by Lieutenant Jose Arciaga, this platoon refused to yield and held wow. their ground. This gave Lieutenant Arciaga's company commander, Captain Conrado Yap, enough time to mount a counterattack. The counterattack successfully extracted the trapped platoon from the hill and also stopped the Surprise. Chinese from further advancing. But sadly, Lieutenant Arciaga and Aww. Captain Yap were killed during the fight. In the early morning of April 23, Lieutenant Colonel Ojeda led the second counterattack using M24 tanks. This caught the Chinese off guard and pushed them away from the hill they were trying oh to seize. Oh my god. The Filipinos fought until midday before it was ordered to withdraw Imagine and up with something the rest like of the this. division in the south. 15 Filipino soldiers died, 26 were wounded, rest in peace. and 14 were missing in action while the Chinese and North Koreans lost around 500 soldiers. The 10th Battalion's effort at Yultong allowed the U.S. 3rd Infantry Division to successfully withdraw from the battlefield which would later on prove to turn the war in favor of the Allies. Wow. Two weeks later, the Communists began ceasefire negotiations after suffering more heavy losses. For the next two years, the Korean War was mostly battled from hilltops until a ceasefire was finally declared. Out of the 7,420 Filipino soldiers sent, 113 were killed, 313 wounded, 15 missing, and 41 held as prisoners of war. Today, a monument stands inside the War Memorial of Korea in wow. honor of the many Filipino soldiers who fought for the liberation of Korea. Recently, during the 69th anniversary of the Korean War, the late Captain Conrado Yap was awarded the Taiguk Medal 
the highest military decoration given to a soldier for bravery in combat. Wow. Also awarded the Taiguk Medal was fellow 10th Battalion team member Major he, Maximo he looks Young intimidating. for his heroism at the Battle of New Dong. The efforts of the 10th Battalion in the Battle of Yultong was instrumental in turning oh the tide my. of the war in favor of the Allied forces. South oh. Korea remains a free democracy thanks to the contribution of soldiers like the Fighting Filipinos, a name given by the U.S. command to the brave men of the 10th Battalion combat team. Incredible. Wow, I mean, every time I watch anything like this, kind of it brings you back down to, to reality that there's always these people who are fighting for us or have fought for us, and it kind of always makes me feel a certain way like special to be able to live in a in a world that you know there's people that are so brave and willing to do any and everything it is such a beautiful thing because it, it kind of restores humanity in the world and i know we can get in a pessimistic point of view you know a lot of people can look at it in a negative way i know war war is evil war is like bad i of course we wish that war can't happen but that's what life is man there is no such thing as good without evil. The moment good was created, evil was created. There is no there is no good without the latter or there is no evil without the latter or, you know, you get the point. There is no such thing as the the word good. That word wouldn't exist if there wasn't evil. You know, happy wouldn't exist if there wasn't sad. What would the definition of happy be? If there was no such thing as sad these things kind of create the world and and the way that we live it and sometimes people very like very often get caught up in in just looking at negatives and I'm not saying only be happy happy you know sometimes we're only human right and you know even with that um, this is why I have so much appreciation and gratitude for for people who fight for us for people who fight for others Things like that, these people are sacrificing their lives. And it's incredibly, incredibly inspirational. And my only point here is just that, you know, I'm looking at it for this. Like, just the, the good in these people. But I know that there's going to be those people who are like, ah, oh, this is, war is dumb. I don't even know why you should say this or say that. Like, dude, it happened. Why are you... Why are you arguing what already happened? If it happened, are you just going to sit and just be angry about it? Are you going to take some sort of good from it? Try and understand like, man, you know what? Let me take the good from this, this war and just see the beautiful people who fought for us. Or you could just sit there and think about war is dumb, war is dumb, war is dumb. We get it. We know. Now what? Sitting and being angry at this won't do anything. And that's why I enjoy being a very optimistic person looking at the good because not only does that help me in my life, I'm sure it spreads onto others. Positivity is very important, especially with the way the world is. There's lots of bad and there's lots of good. Don't forget that there's lots of good. There really is, no matter what. There really is. And this is just beautiful. This is phenomenal. You know, let me know if you guys want me to react to more things like this. I really, really do enjoy it. This was recommended by somebody. And I just want to say thank you for recommending this. This was beautiful. Now, look, I just want to say thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Hey, if you liked it, leave a like. If you loved it, subscribe. If you want more, let me know down in the comments below. And yeah, till next time, guys. Peace.